was in the U.S. Navy. My dad's from Manila, my mom's uh, from Hong Kong. Yeah. So back then, uh, they, they allowed Filipinos to take a test to join the military. My dad uh, passed the test. Yeah. So once you're born on the base of an American base, you're a, you're a U.S. citizen. And then we moved back to the Philippines uh, in Subic Bay, because my dad got stationed there. Moving back from the Philippines to the United States, uh, San Diego, there's an uh, elementary school near my house and a bunch of skaters were skating there and I saw the older guys like doing uh, rail slides, board slides on the double-sided curb and I thought that was like the coolest thing to ever see. I wanted to do that so that's, that's how, how excited I got about it. <laughs> Before skateboarding I was into BMX a little bit and then soccer too but then skateboarding took over. I, I was already pro, and so I was competing. And he must be. I competed with him in street contests and stuff like that. So I rode for GNS, and then um, that's when uh, Tony was going to leave Powell Peralta and start a new company. So he didn't even know the name of the company he was going to uh, make. He called me one day after school. My, my dad told me that. And I, I called him up, and he's like, Yeah, I'm starting a new project. Um, I don't know the name of it, but uh, I'd like you to be a part of it. Came home or went to school the next day, nothing, no big deal. That's it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm you know, definitely happy. And it's amazing to be part of a, a skateboard company for over 20 years. And Tony and I are like the original team riders for Burnhouse. Years ago, I think it was like 1997, uh, I came out here with a photographer named Jody uh, Morris. And we did a transport article here. I was here for like maybe two weeks. He stayed for maybe a week. And we, we skated from Manila, uh, Pampanga, and Subic. So there was a, yeah, it was cool because I went to my uh, my elementary school and then skated there. But this trip, uh, actually tomorrow, we're planning to go to Subic. We promised my, my son that we'd go there sometimes. Yeah, this is the first time in the Philippines. He's only four years old. Cool. It was, uh, you know, it was uh, over 10 years that we did it, um, but you know, the economy is really tough in the United States. We actually closed the shop, the storefront, but we're doing it online. Like the, the new generation of kids, seeing them skate, um, that, that keeps me pretty motivated. It's always like the, the new generation of kids, they're always where you left off or what you've been pushing. And then they, they learn it and then they do yeah. it better. So. It's just a cycle, right? I think with uh, with stuff being uh, televised, with, uh, with skating interviews, like I, I, the other day I did like a, a morning show, and uh, hopefully, like the general public saw that, like, oh, we're not just like troublemakers. That uh, skateboard is a good, positive thing. I, think. I mean, obviously you're out in the streets, but then at least you're not like robbing a bank or something, right? It was right around when the first X Games uh, came out. It was like 1995. I think it was a Mega Mall or SM Mall. Uh, some kids recognized me, and um, they're like, "Oh, we, we skate over at, the, at this SM Mall on Sundays." So I went there, and then there was like 80 kids. And then ever since then, I've seen it grow. We've done some events out here, and, you know, just with the Circuit Fest too. There's a lot of skaters that showed up. So there's, I always see it on the internet. Uh, a whole bunch of competitions, people skating. So not only in Manila, like the other provinces and islands and the skateboarding. So pretty much wherever there's cement, at least there'll be skaters. Just keep going at it, keep pushing, you know. It's uh, it, it's gonna be here. And uh, I'd like to help skateboarding grow here in the Philippines. I think it's just great whether you're making or doing some kind of hard trick or just pushing or going down a hill, it's, it's just the best feeling. Skateboarding is just everything to me. I love it. It's my life.